Today I am announcing our Croctober. We are going to do Crock-Pot recipes all month long. Today is October 1st, so we're starting today and it's going to be great. <music> Today I am making a super simple dinner. I forgot to pull up my recipe. <laughs> I don't have it memorized, even though I probably should. It's so easy. Let me pull this up real quick. We're going to make Crock-Pot French dip sandwiches. It's unbelievably stupid easy and it's packed with flavor. So it's the perfect recipe to kick off our 31 days of Crock-Pot recipes. Remember, I'm gonna be going live almost every single day. I say almost because my sister's gonna take over a couple days for me. Um, but it's gonna be so much fun. Okay, so French dip sandwiches. This is a crowd pleaser and it's perfect for game day watching, um, for any kind of football or just on a weeknight. It's so simple and it's packed with flavor. Okay, so I have my crock pot. Any slow cooker will work. You don't need anything fancy, okay? I'm going to throw in my rump roast. Any roast will work. I had to do two because I didn't have one big enough for my family and that's totally okay. Um, but they're fitting nicely in here. I do like using a rump roast because it has less fat, but I know a chuck roast does amazing. It's super tender in your crock pot. You also could do um, like a pork roast. A pork roast would be delicious as well and a great way to save some money. Um, but obviously it'll be a little bit different flavor, but still really, really good. Now I'm going to take an onion. The recipe calls for a half an onion, but my onion is super tiny. So I'm going to throw the whole thing in and then we're just going to slice it and throw it in. You could probably omit this if you want to, but I feel like it just adds more flavor. And I personally like to take the sliced onions and put them on my sandwich for my French dip sandwich. Okay. Sprinkle these on top or throw them around. The great thing about our recipes on eating on a dime is that they are very forgiving. You cannot mess them up. We make them specifically for people who don't cook and specifically for people who are, um, I'm on a live right now. Sorry, babe. And specifically for busy people who just don't have time. Okay, so I'm throwing in some minced garlic, just sprinkling it on top. I, you could mince your own garlic if you want to, but I like to save a lot of time and I just use pre-minced garlic. Um, we're going to do one package of onion soup mix. I also have a recipe on eating on a dime for onion soup mix. If you can't find this in your area or if you just want to be able to control your sodium content, you could make it yourself and you have complete control over it. I'm going to throw that in there. Then we're going to throw in four cups of beef broth, which is an entire carton. If you want to, you could, you know, make your own broth by using like granules or something like that. Um, I do like using actual broth and some of my recipes, I say it's optional, but I think in this recipe, you want to use the broth. And the reason we're using the broth is we want the extra flavor for when we're dipping our sandwiches. It's done, guys. Isn't that easy? I'm going to turn the slow cook on. Since I'm starting a little later in the day, I'm going to turn it on high. So you could do low or high. And this is the shredded meat for the feeling, filling of your French dip sandwiches. So what we're going to do is after this cooks on low or on high, you're going to need high for five to six hours or low for about eight hours because you want that meat completely shreddable. You're going to shred that meat. Then you're going to take some hoagie rolls. We're just buying regular hoagie rolls. Any rolls will work. You know, even leftover hot dog buns will work as well. So I'm going to open them up and toast them in the oven, slap on some provolone cheese and melt it, put my meat on top, fold it up, and then we're going to dip it in the juice, the au jus. So good and so simple. The entire family will love it. Now, if you want your sauce to be a little bit thicker, you can make a cornstarch slurry and stir it in. 
that's just simply mixing in cornstarch and water, stirring it in. It will thicken up the sauce and make it a little bit less runny when you're dipping it in. But I teach you all of that on today's recipe. You just have to read about it on the recipe. And we give you all the tips and tricks on how to make this and how to serve it. So this was one, two, three, four, five ingredients plus the onion. So six ingredients is all I needed to get this started today. And I don't have to worry about dinner tonight. It's simple and it's delicious and easy. So drop the word recipe below. We will send you the link for you to sign up for our free 31 days of crock pot recipes. And this is day one. So you will immediately get this recipe in your email. Uh, if for some reason you don't want to do that and you just want the recipe, go to eatingonadime.com and search French dip and the recipe will pull up. Okay. Let's see if we have any questions before we hop off. It's so easy, right? Okay. I think that's it. Okay, friends. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope I inspired you to make something super simple and easy in your kitchen. Remember, you can get the full recipe at eatingonadime.com. Just search uh, French dip. Or if you want our free 31 days of crock pot recipes, go ahead and drop the word recipe below and we will send you the link. Um, it's going to be a fun month, guys. And I hope you enjoyed day one of Crock-Pot Recipes. I will see you tomorrow in my kitchen. Bye, friends. <music>